有这种机制的。Amar and Owen are loading up the uh, dewer, filled with liquid nitrogen and keeps all the crystals very cold. And the white thing beside Amar you can see is the robotic arm that will lift the crystals out of the dewer and take them and put them over here in the x-ray beam. The crystal will be held here. At about this position here, and this nozzle here is going to blow liquid nitrogen, or a gaseous nitrogen, at 100 degrees Kelvin onto it. And the lens you can see here is for a camera that will uh, give us an image of the crystal, but the X-ray beam actually comes out through the middle of that lens. It's a clever optical arrangement, but the beam will come uh, straight towards me from this view. So and the x-rays, when they shoot through the crystal, will end up here on the detector. This is a Quantum 315, it's a CCD detector, and it's very expensive, so we must not bash into it. We have set. three we have data sets at three wavelengths. Yeah? One data set at three different. Yes. <laughs> um, but we haven't solved it here, which we would like to. It would be nice to see a map here. I've still got a few more crystals to try, so hopefully I'll be able to improve on my, my day so far. There's okay. plenty of time there. Yeah, we've got a few hours yet. So Owen, uh, are you pleased with your data yeah, so far? It's been Tell great. us what what happened. So I had a uh, first data set of a huge crystal which had two different lattices and did not produce brilliant data. So I was quite annoyed about that. It looked beautiful, it took ages to live. But then I got a much nicer data set uh, down to two point four. So I'm incrementally increasing uh, the the quality of my data set, starting at 3.2, and now I'm down to 2.4, so I think this is where I might stop. It's quite nice. 2.4 is not bad. Yeah, 2.4 is brilliant. I mean, yeah, 2.4 is fantastic. <laughs> 